Today we're playing Flesh of the Killer by Garment District. This is the fourth Flesh of the er, of the Killer game I've played by Garment District, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. <clears throat> I'm not looking forward to playing it. Again, title's really nice. I like the quirky art style, the sort of the lines that sort of jiggle, and it fills me with dread, which is, I think, what this game is trying to do. So let's get started. The coast is clear. Hup, hup, this way. Stop treading on my robe. Waz to move, and it looks like I'm controlling, um, what's your name again? CC or DD? I forget. These are some high quality crates. This must be how rich people live. What direction are we going again? Are we on a ship? Cricky. BB, hurry up with that light. Execute Omega Tactics. I don't know what that means. Don't yell at me. Oh, I see. We're the only one with the light. Wow, it's like being in a bank. We kind of are. Those are the aesthetics of power. Stay alert. Are we robbing a bank? I can't believe there's been no security so far. If I had stuff stored here, I'd be really irate. Maybe it's a Rhoda issue. I don't know what it is. What are we looking for? We passed a door. Stay alert, we're too conspicuous out here. You were the one who insisted we all dress this way. What are we even meant to be? I thought more of the statues would have heads. That's why we're disguised as virtues to blend in. Wait, we are? Which virtues? Well, let me see. There's Dusty, Gumo, Juris, Jurisprudence, the one with the hair. Anyway, we're wasting time. Let's just keep going. Boy, they really went all out. I thought this place was meant to be a secret. Well, not to everyone. Look at all the art on the wall. It's a lot of work put into this scene. Is this meant to be Hercules? He looks a little off-brand. It's probably one of the donors being portrayed as a god is one of the traditional benefits of art patronage. If either of you want a Hercules -ona, Hercules Sona, let me know. I'm friends with a guy online. I want a Hercules Sona. No unauthorized access. Oops, I guess we should just head home. No, I saved for weeks for that big crate. I wonder how much a big crate costs. Hey, this stupid golden elevator's cordoned off. Leave it. What we want should be right down the stairs. Hey, <laughs> it's here. I knew it'd be here. Museum of Moral Art. So the legends were true. BB, do the lead-in that we talked about. It's BB. No, I, I knew it was like two syllables. <clears throat> on March X, Mar on X March XDX, an expedition was assembled to confirm the existence of an urban legend. In a tax-exempt freeport just outside the city, artworks are being stored for display in a private museum. Here to shine a light on Mercury, the normal corner of the art world, are representatives of all major fields: Max, photography; Claude, art history; Ray, relational aesthetics; BB, zines. All findings to be submitted as end of term group assignment for community college for 20 credits. 
Well, I hate to admit it, but this place is really swish. It's very swish. I can feel my culture level rising just by walking around. The hallway paintings have vine Vanitas theme and homage to the erotic skull art of yesteryear. Was erotic skull art ever a thing? Catalog modestly lists assembled masterpieces. Skull with a ball, skull with a fruit basket, skull with flesh. A devastating rebuke to the vanity and transitoriness of having flesh. How many of these are there? It seems they're looking for one in particular. A tasteful plaque acknowledges tax-deductible charity donations from the Zacklers of opioid industry fame. Wait, that can't be right. Zacklers? They changed their name to seem relatable to younger juries. Oh, I think I know who that's a ticket. What's this one called? World of Skulls by M.T. Lott? Yeah, I guess it's good fun to have a theme. I always thought art had to be stored cold, but the air in here is tropical and humid, like being in a reptile house. Maybe they're trying out a new technique? Mistrust the stranger. Oh, is that new? Oh, that's cool. I, I, I did never notice that. The uh, bubbles actually dim after you've read them. That's kind of neat. Another themed collection, Mistrust the Stranger, Look Out for the Stranger, Who's There, A Stranger, Hand Taps Your Shoulder, It's the Stranger. All the hits. It's a big no in front of the person. I wonder if being around all these paintings is making me more moral. Maybe they make you sign a waiver if you work here, just in case... Hey, I recognize this. Clop stocks three owls impaling a naked woman on a sword. It's a loan from the lobby of the police department. I'm curious if... I don't know how big the team is, but I'm curious if just the, someone told the artist, draw as many random pictures as you want, and they just kind of rolled with it. <laughs> That's what I would have done. Oh, I hate these ones. There, there was a print in my bedroom when I was a kid. I always thought the elephant changed positions a bit every, when, every time I looked the other way. That is creepy. I wouldn't want that in my bedroom. So, these games always start out zany and wacky, and then as you get deeper, they get legitimately spooky. So I'm ready for that transition. I always thought they were weird. What are they even meant to represent? Well, there's a story that if you hold your hand out to an elephant, it'll place its paw softly on yours and look you dead in the eye. If you're a good person, it will simply shake your hand. But if you're a bad person, it will stomp down and maim you instantly. I used to have nightmares about it. What's moral to an elephant? Anyway, Claude says it's probably just a metaphor for man's domination over the earth or something. Nah, it sounds real. I've watched a documentary about it. A sign on the wall announces that this is the Hall of Moral Improving Mechanisms. I hope they at least rinse these things out before display. Wanpanku Deadwife. Oh boy, new media. This one's a cabinet for Wanpanku Deadwife, the video game that makes you cry. From medium auteur J Joe Grone. How many dead wives can you collect? I think my top score is eight. <laughs> Thank you. 
instructive moral diorama from the 19th century depicting the doleful fates of those who commit uh, simony. What's this on the side? Cabinet 28 of 246. Please insert coin. Oh, that one didn't darken, so maybe we have to come back to that one. Morality Animal by M.T. Lott. The plinth is empty. It's... Isn't this kind of conceptual gesture a little played out? These aren't blacking out in this room. I don't know. Maybe it's a bug. This part feels like a storage area, but for pieces that were insufficiently good or insufficiently moral or what? I think we're starting to get to the spooky. Over here are some haphazard paintings of people in security uniforms, smiling and playing the harp. Well, at least I can see why these didn't make the cut. Hey, someone left their second floor keycard around. Maybe they were overcome by aesthetic effect. Huh. I don't remember ever getting items in this game. That's new. I guess I don't. Can I answer? Card. Max, are you still in here? Why is everything all knocked about? This is exactly why I prefer to go off by myself. And why is there ketchup on the wall? I must admit, I could get used to a museum without any crowds. Even the security system seems very discreet. I really believe we're the only people living here. World of Spirits. Where are my friends? I feel much better if I can find my friends. Oh, there's one of them. Okay, good. That makes me feel a little better. Okay. <laughs> we're not at the spooky yet. Apparently, moral art is going through a boom period right now, on account of all the murderers. Who says there's no ethical way to make money? I wonder how much all these are worth. So for those of you, who, this is your first uh, of the killer games. This uh, this world is inhabited by like famous murderers, and it's just like a thing that people have to deal with. Like there's no catching them or anything. They're they're like too good or whatever. Wash your hand. Oh, it's art of people washing their hands. Certificates of provenance hang discreetly on the walls to let you know you're not being imbued with any counterfeit morals. Some of the countries these were taken from no longer exist. The canvases all come pre-enclosed in a little Ziploc wrappings to prevent scuffs during trades and resales. The, the little touches are always what you're paying for. Ew. Clowns regard me... Clowns regard me from north, south, east, and west. I guess this place is still enough of a traditional museum to have a cursed-feeling children's recreational area. That's true. Every museum does have a cursed re children's recreational area. I've never heard regard used in that way, though. Hey, baby, check it out. It's a collection of children's book illustrations. Look, here's four children and Lamasu. Is that the one where they all get hit by a truck on entering puberty? I don't get that reference. This one looks familiar. Isn't this Pleasant Child and Horrible Child? My favorite was always the Horrible Child. <laughs> the textures in this room are a nightmare. Pondering the immutable M.T. Lot. There sure are a lot of paintings by this guy. It's no surprise, ever since his first appearance, M.T. Lot was recognized as one of the leading lights of neo-moral art. 
Oh, we are on the second floor. His work includes refreshing updates on all the classic motives. Knife safety, don't wake papa, repayment of a debt, uh... Cynical age was won over anew by the elegance of these simple but lasting moral themes. So what happened to him? Well, he was eventually arrested for eating a woman, but that doesn't mean his work has nothing to teach us. <laughs> That's awesome. Incidentally, isn't putting a moral art museum inside a Freeport kind of a mixed message? Well, traditionally, tax evasion counts as a political issue rather than a moral one. How about trespassing? That one's actually moral again. They really get you coming and going with these things. Man, it smells rank in here. I wonder if this is some kind of secret art preservation strategy. Well, that's what we're here to learn. I'm trying to figure out what this wallpaper is. I guess it's supposed to be like hieroglyphs or something. Susanna and the Stranglers. Hey, a new empty lot. I've never heard of that one. I wonder if it was found after his death. Well, the paint's still wet. Uh, more ketchup. Uh, what is that thing? Does we have to go for it? Oh, he's painting. I thought we might have some kind of trouble. Just leave this guy to me. Gonna get you, man. I was number one delinquent of my Hans Oberest reading group. <laughs> Run! Okay, I I'm very curious just for science. I'm gonna figure out what happens if you get caught. Ah! <laughs> you get swallowed. Oh, and you get turned into a statue? That's pretty brutal. What is this? Why am I holding a face? I'm sure there was a good reason in this, the best of all possible worlds, but now I'd better get back to my tour. There are 88,000 more rooms in the Pantheon to see. In the previous games, the spooky bits kind of were gradually introduced. This one just jumped right into it, didn't it? Oh. Those walls have shadows. I think that's new. That looks good. Such pointage and elegance is in these statues. How beautiful in every respect. It makes me want to scream, and I don't know why. I guess that's what they mean by disinterested contemplation. Shake hands, shake hands. Well, although everything here is as beautiful and classical as can be, I'm starting to feel a little unease. I don't remember how I got in here, and there seems to be no exit. Also, who's making that sound? Read that. Nice hands. Ah! Hate, hate it, I hate it. Wait, did I just fall out of a painting? Well, I prefer not to think about that right now. I just want to escape from the museum before I end up in an award winning traveling corpse exposition. Ex exhibition. There's Max and Ray, but the paintings are too high up for me to get at by myself. I hope they're trapped in better visions of the good than I was, at least. Interesting. So the killer puts you in a painting. 
but apparently you can escape. That elephant was really creepy. I just didn't have time to comment on it. Wet paint mixed into multicolor sledge drips down the walls, and inscrutable moral table locks can be dimly glimpsed underneath. I can hear gloved hands scuttling on the marble tile ahead. I'm going to take a drink of water real quick. Uh, oh, that is spooky. Could you imagine if you went to a, a museum and you saw paintings of yourself? You'd probably freak out. Blobby, misshapen pseudo-BBs grin back at me from all the walls, holding tennis rackets, tiny dogs, frozen images of my own best life. Did I escape in the middle of a conversation to a moral icon? Middle of conversion to a moral icon. Smiling reflections reach towards me from every side. For a second, I want to climb back into the canvas, and maybe all that stops me is a deep desire to remain annoying instead. <laughs> hey, is this a door? Or just a painting of a door. Ah! Oh, I don't like this. I guess I walked into that. Is this a different paint world? The air here feels less relevant. Thick with smoke, and I smell like rotten eggs. Oh, this got very silent hilly, and I don't like it. There's a figure down the hall. There's multiple figures down the hall. Oh, that guy with the long beak down at the end. That was a murderer from a previous game. My skin is actually crawling right now. In their filthy cave outside the good, there lurks the strangers, waiting to commit unspeakable crimes for unintelligible reasons. They watch me but make no move to chase, busy haunting the doors of the ideal. Do I do I go forward? lighting to show me which door to go to. When I climb back out, I'm in some kind of board. Part of the Freeport's executive suite. The managers hang upon the walls. I mean, ex-cops and art world toadies locked in moral display. Oh, the managers hang upon the walls. The mean cops and art world toadies. Okay. So, cops and art critics are put into paintings too. I don't want to run into that masked figure. Over here are a picture are pictures of the board of directors, anonymized to protect the safety of the city's leading families. Still, the glaring red eyes are sort of familiar. <laughs> I'm like caught creeping forward. Mission statement. The horrible murderers the city have driven renewed interest in moral ideals. To protect existing investment, a vault, a marvelous vault, secures the eternal verities, verities from tax responsibilities. There is some comfort to know that even when somebody is dead, morality can last forever. A little display full of corporate promo materials. They all look extremely unread. Ah, not yet, not yet, I... Wait a minute, BB, is that you? Claude! Glad you're alright. I wasn't sure whether or not you, uh... Why are you whipping yourself with what looks like a security lanyard? Oh, well, the thing that got Ray was some kind of morality robot, right? So I thought maybe if the rest of us, like, repented and tried to adapt it, adopt its teachings... I'm not talking about moral lessons from a... I'm not taking moral lessons from a mechanical lion. It hasn't even been elected. How come nobody in this town can go ten minutes without starting a cult? That's also a thing in this game series. We'll go find Ray and Max quick, and then vamos. I thought they'd be both be turned to paintings. It's not so bad. It gives you a new perspective. Oh. Uh, 
Every time I see BB in paintings, it creeps me out. Uh, is this the way? Let him not alone. Also, I noticed that you took the music from the beginning of the game and you warped it. Which is really clever and also really spooky. More paintings. I wonder if being trapped inside these things is some kind of ironic punishment for trespassing in the museum. The world of morality really resembles that of cheap slasher films. Chasing us, isn't he? Empty Lot's celebrated moment of moral awakening occurred after the artist watched 1,000 hours of children's cartoons on a dare. Realizing morality was too important to be left to human fallibility, he set about as embodying it an immortal object known as works of art. Using capital acquired from his so many supporters in the NGO space, he soon began work on his most ambitious project yet, the unfinished remains of his work. About the artist, probably not very helpful at this point. So the lion is named Works of Art. Hey, the canvases in here are a strict bear. I'll accept it. Garden the Second by M.T. Lot. Is it me or does this one seem a bit more worked than the others? Oh, we got some. Uh oh. In the lion's garden, the air is clear and smells like drying blood. Flower stalks are shaking in the lack of wind. Somebody is looking at me. I can't see. Somebody's looking to eat me. <laughs> The uh, the different aesthetics in this shot kind of make me feel uneasy, which I suppose is the goal. The garden is well tended, but not for me. I can glimpse the rightful owner stalking round through the grass. I know there are more lions, since I can't see them. Something close is licking blood from its jaws. The statuary here is just jumbled, but offers no place a paw can't reach. Marble faces watch me with eyes of lions. Something behind me climbs out of the rubble and slinks away. I carefully avert my eyes. It's not hot here, but it's close, and without realizing I'm covered in sweat, plastering my hair down and falling in my eyes. My back is sore. I realize I've been tensing it. Waiting for the pounce. Come on, friends. Hey, it's BB. I thought the elephant got you. Let's not talk about the elephant. What are you guys up to? Waiting to die. I wonder what happens when you die here. Do you just become another moral prop, like all the vases, cherubs, bowls of fruit, circulating endlessly from painting to painting? What, so you think the lion just responds to moral iconography without knowing what any of it means? It's just mechanical pattern recognition. I don't know, I was just sort of complaining. Sire, greetings. You're just in time for the opening act of an instructive moral play. Would you like to sit in on the first act? Verily, esteemed parent, with courtesy and desire for self-betterment, I ask thee, what is it that is best in life? 
Prithee, son, difference to duly constituted authorized is the first step on the path of wisdom. The most important thing of all is wash your hands. Wasn't that beautiful? Perhaps with patience and compassion, we may all someday... No, Ray! No, no, no! It's me! Quick, hit it while it's down! Six simper! Six simper! The last king with the entrails of the last priest. Get his ass! How long does it take to beat a robot to death? The answer may surprise you. You know, despite everything, I still find myself drawn to these portraits of the good. The right life congealed in an inner and frozen object world, safe from the back and forth of creaturely existence. Snapshots from a place as alien to us as canyons of Mars. Who are you talking to? Come on, we found an exit. For real? Never mind. Before leaving, we took stock. There wasn't much left standing in the Freeport where the line has passed. I was sort of worried we'd accidentally wiped out International Park Market and the Tumlet, but according to the papers, the paintings continued to be bought and sold as though nothing had changed. So in my experience on these end screens, usually when you when you select the click the final enter, the game just closes. So we're gonna sit here a minute and I'm gonna tell you about my thoughts. So as usual, from same kind of praise from the last games. I love the art style. I love the witty highbrow humor um, that sort of devolves into horror. It, it starts out funny and quickly gets spooky. I think that's an interesting little take on it. Um I like the settings. Uh, there's always unique settings in this game, and the idea of, an, of a murderer in an art museum is really neat. Uh, I saw that you added a couple of things, which I really liked. I liked the uh, how the little the reading icons dimmed out as you were after you read them. Um, also, in the past, I've complained about how there are moments where something's like chasing you, and you're, you you want to read the icons, but you're also being chased, so you kind of have this this tour of which to do. But I don't think that happened, except once when that uh, nightmare elephant appeared. But yeah, that, that you're definitely improving on that, which was my major complaint. Um, so I didn't have any camera issues with the camera clipping through the corners like I did either. So yeah, I definitely see improvement, and I I'm trying to think if I have any complaints. I can't think of anything. I think you really nailed this format down. Uh, I really like these little these little short games. They're they're very interesting and they're genuinely scary sometimes. But yeah, I think you did a great job. And I again, I look forward to the next one. I hope you keep making these. So I guess we'll finish out the story and see what happens. Empty Lot's influence continued to spread. There was even a children's cartoon to better convey his moral teachings in contemporary form. This adaptation was mostly known for the volume and variety of pornographic fan art it inspired. <laughs> oh, that hits too real. Press escape to close. Well, it's been fun. Good job. I liked it a lot.